Hello everyone and welcome back to Kitty Powers Love Life. Alright, so it's kind of, it might be a little bit different. Something happened and unfortunately I lost the work that we had on our town. So I had to rebuild it. Um, I just loaded up the video from last time and hopefully, I'm looking for that cat. Um, hopefully everything's back where it was before, um, you know. I really hope everything is. So we were going to get some tenants. Now, so we have about 1,300 coins left to get some tenants, and we're aiming for all same-sex couples because that'll help us get affairs happening. So, um, you know, we only actually have one set of same-sex couples here. So we could go for all men. That's something that we could do, and I think we're going to do that because my goal here is to need to refresh the list as little as possible, and I want to keep probably 300 coins minimum just for uh, safety. So we're going to go through um, this as much as we can, and then um, if we don't get everybody in this episode, we might go to Matchmaker and, and make some couples, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So let's start in. We're going to have an all gay men town. At least for now. So obviously none of those guys are going to work. Um, none of you are going to work either. Because we're. I don't have the affair achievement and I want it. So I mean, I'm not even that concerned about anything else. Just we want um, male couples. All male couples. Who are into men because then you can have affairs if they're into each other we don't have to worry about that being a snagging point anymore so let's see we got two this time how wonderful so it's gonna be really difficult for me but I'm gonna try to not fix a f um, intimacy problems with any of these guys I don't care they can have intimacy problems because we need to play those games, um, preferably at VIP level. But you know, we can we can work on that too. Um, we can try and promote people in game, and I think that's gonna be easier than trying to refresh to get all VIPs because I don't have that much money left. Um, so yeah, and then if these we need two more, and nope. And nope. My goodness. Guys, come on. Why are we getting so many straight couples? Come on. Okay, well, at least there's some lesbians, but here we go. Um, so, like, we can try and get people into into new jobs too, although not knowing their types right off the bat, that's going to be annoying. We'll try and figure out as many of them as we can right away. Um, ones that are obvious I probably won't spend money on because we're getting kind of low on money, um, but ones that aren't, I'm still fine to figure them out. So we have two. Each of them has a VIP. So I think I'll, we're going to choose this, this pair. So there we go. We've moved everybody in. I have no idea who anybody is. Um, but let's actually, uh, take a look here, and let's look at our people. So we've got Bobo Bonnie Wayne, so paper mache art, silent discos, and overpriced artwork. He's arty. That I think I can, I can say pretty, uh, pretty surely. Heavy rock dragons and colonic hydrotherapy. He is edgy. Collages, evening classes, and high-end design would be chic. Personal grooming, designer labels, and absorbing would be glam. Conspiracy theories, watercolor painting, avant-garde art, arty. Protein shakes, medicine, and science history. I want to say practical because of the protein shakes and medicine, but science history puts geeky in the mix and potentially even hipster. But I was correct. Okay, practical. Um, CGI effects, costume parties, and tanks. He's geeky. Uh, yoga, global markets, and evening classes. Hippie? Hipster. Um, acid, jazz, arty, ceramics, and provocative art. He's arty. Draughts, micro beauties, and charity shops. Hipster? 
Okay. I was like, it's hipster or vintage? The charity shops threw me off. Voodoo, bar hopping, and fire juggling. He's edgy. The theremin, penthouse suites, and retro fashion. Already Okay. Well, we still have over 500 coins, and I think we can pretty accurately get the types of all of our people. Um, those that I didn't know right off the bat, we know now. So they have places that they can go hang out. We've got a lot of arty types. Um, people are already complaining about their partners, so that's great. That's all good. Um, but, you know, it's the first day, so not a lot's going on. I don't think anybody works the day they move in. They get the day off. Um, but people are hopefully meeting each other. Um, hopefully. Are people meeting each other? They're all driving around, like two places but maybe they're just driving around with their significant others because I recently moved and I know when I move in places I don't like go out and meet people immediately like you gotta settle in figure out what what you're all about first so let's get our first real day in the new village in North Plankville I believe was the name so that we can um, start to get to know our people so Waylon needs some help at the beach and we get to meet all of our new uh, NPCs as well I suppose we could call them just the people who work at the locations yeah. welcome to the beach my name's Nathan I'm the senior lifeguard nice yeah. to meet you Nathan my name's Waylon I need to ask you a bit of a favor I'm desperate for someone to scrape up all the dead rotting seaweed I do it myself I've got something more important so let's do it somehow you're already in a good mood we don't want you guys getting engaged or moving out too quickly because then we can't let affairs fester all right and of course we are still aiming for gifts because all of the locations in our town have at least one gift that we do not have Unfortunately, a bucket and spade is not one of them. <sighs> Alright, but we figured it out a little bit. We're also going to have to learn the types that like these new locations, because some of our most common ones are not here. You know, we don't have the cafe, because we've got everything at the cafe. If I go into location, the cemetery we have everything from, um, the animal sanctuary we have everything from, the cafe we have everything from. I don't think we have anything, everything from anything else, and we will eventually be putting it in. Um, but right now we just don't have the coins to do it. We're going to need at least a week or two to get ourselves up to um, that level of proficiency in the town. We, of course, are also hoping that um, we can get new jobs for people soon, preferably ones that will be a promotion, that's the word. So Hope Dish Garden is our uh, recruitment center worker. Wanted by the park, a pro cosplayer. So a pro cosplayer to me feels geeky. I know we had a geeky type. And now the village hall needs a new politician. Now the village hall, fairly certain Okay, the practical type might like it. So let's see. Um, already edgy. We had the practical type down already. So where do you work? You're a VIP, so I'm not messing with your job. Mm -mm. Um, but where's our geeky type? Right here, Dougie. He's already a three-star video game designer, so getting him a three-star job um, would not be a promotion for him. So... A lifestyle guru. Would a hipster like it? I don't know. Could try it out, but I don't know how well it would go. But you know what? You did, you're never going to know She's until you figure it out. Um, so where's our hipster here, right? It was lifestyle guru. Pretty sure. Okay. I don't know, he's probably dressed hor horrifically for the job and won't get it, but we're going to try it. I saw that cat and then she jumped away. Alright, but we especially right now need our coins because we just don't have that many. Do I have missions this week, by the way? 
Like, do you get missions when you first move in? You do. So promote a resident. Or try and make five new friends. That's going to be a little bit harder to do. Oh, no, it's already Wednesday. So that's right. That might be a little bit difficult with starting with a new town, but we can try our best. Um, the new friends will be a little difficult. But we can try and get friendships going on the weekends. Um, once we have a few more people who have met each other. Um, the business center is looking for a politician. So I have a type that I was pretty sure was chic. I have a person who I was pretty sure was chic. Was it you? No, but you're already a VIP. Like, how many VIPs do I have? Two. I have two. Okay. So where's my chic type? Is it you? Already not chic, so I was wrong. Um, you're glam. Pretty sure anyway. Yep. Already practical, definitely geeky. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Somebody had a panic button, but hasn't actually shown up on the map yet. Waylon needs our help at home, so it's our first partner panic event of the new town. It's a truly historic moment. <laughs> Sharing activities is what keeps our relationship strong, is it not my most favored one? It's time to release the love eggs. Alright, so we want to talk about, you know, these things because they're eventually gonna we're eventually we're gonna try and get these people engaged you know even if they have affairs we don't actually want them breaking up necessarily all right so they share viewpoints granted of course now they're in better moods but um if you watch deify play this game he just ignores them when he says that they want to um move up with their relationship and lets their moods keep going back down but I think that has contributed to like his like pretty awful reputation in the game. So I don't want to have to do that unless I have to. Because also you don't make a lot of money if you have a bad reputation. You don't get that great reputation bonus anymore. And I'd rather just get my great reputation bonuses and get money. Right off the bat, because then we can, so the sooner we can start saving for a new place, the more money we'll have then, and then we can just kind of carry it on over. Alright, my name's Hope, and I'm conducting your interview today. <laughs> a vacancy for a pro cause player. Okay, he's kind of like, eh. Um, I think you need to get out and about with other cause players. Probably tear up the rule book. I mean, um, see, I feel like you do have to plan your outfits. So she's gonna say nothing too drastic. Yeah. I really wanted to be a pro cosplayer, so we could have guessed on that last one, maybe gotten it. But I'm like, I feel like there's some planning. But then there's, 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 I don't know, there's planning that definitely goes into the outfit, as I know some people who like cosplay quite seriously. I mean, not as like a profession, but they take it seriously. And they definitely put a lot of planning into where they're going to go and what they're going to look like and how they're going to make themselves look like what they want. You know, it's, it's, it's all a balance. All right, we're, we're gonna go to the park. So the park, we don't have very many gifts from. So if we get a chance to get a gift, that would be absolutely wonderful. Oh, cat, 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 cat. Mm, no. Excuse me, sir, could you spare a couple minutes of your valuable time? Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Prudence, I'm the senior park warden here at the park. We've been selected to take part in our customer survey. <laughs> What's the envelope? Choose the good feedback. Alright. So we just gotta do this, and then we can hope we get a park gift after this. Uh. 
I always forget that there's one extra in this one. Alright, so let's see how we did. I'm not sure on that last one because I kind of stopped watching because I thought we were done. So, oops. But I love the jackpot even though it's just 10 coins for this one. Alright, we got it though. That's nice. Cannot be improved, it's already perfect. Alright, we win a free gift, yay! Okay, please be something new. Uh, yay, it is new! It's a litter grabber! So it's the one star gift from the park. So that's great. We're gonna enjoy having that. It's one less gift that we have to get for that achievement. Alrighty, so what else do we got going today? Probably not a lot, because we haven't been uh, orchestrating very much. Have we seen any more job openings? Politicians are wanted by different places. And that seems kind of like a chic thing to me. Maybe vintage. But we don't have any of those. We need a lot of arty jobs. <laughs> like, we have a lot of arty types. I wasn't even trying to have a theme and we got one, so maybe we could do the, like, popularity one where somebody's friends with everyone. It might be easy. Or, with this group. Alright, second partner panic event of the new town. Yeah. We could spend a quality time together, isn't it, darling? Uh, Alright, so we're talking. So, like, this happens a lot more often, it seems, when they're you know, together more often. I was wondering, do you think you prefer to do some laps at the local running track or watch athletics on TV? They both want to watch athletics on TV in their onesies. I mean, so far so good. We've learned two traits about two different couples and they've both lined up. That almost never happens in this game. So maybe in the next episode our goal will be to start trying to get some friendships together because friendships are needed in order to have affairs. You can't have affairs without friendships. It's just not possible. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye